Can everybody walk through today's video? Today's video, if you've been following my series, it's time to run the fuel lines for the LS swap. In the previous video, I dropped a tank. I did the fuel tank modifications that I got from Novak Conversions, and now it's time to run the lines. I need to run a pressure line, and I need to run a return line. Now, there's many ways that you can do this. I'm going to show you the way I'm doing it. It's not the cheapest way, but it's the way that I want it ran. So first off, to run the pressure line, I got some Evil Energy hose. And I also picked up these fittings right here. This is a Quick Connect Fuel Rail 3 8 hose to number 6AN. I'm going to take my first one. So I'm at it for the return line. I'm going to go ahead and put the 5 16 one in. There I go. Now for the pressure one down below, the LS engine has a 3 8 but your fuel line coming up from your Jeep is going to be a 5 16 so I got a 5 16 fitting right here. Make sure it's snug and we're good. What's nice about the kit is that it comes with multiple styles of fittings. So looking at that, I think I'm going to run with a 45. So these fittings come split like this. What you got to do is take this one here, thread it onto your hose, put some lube on that, and then spin this one into place. So now if you put this on by hand, the direction of the wrench is got to be going into reverse. And that's how you thread it up. You can see it's butted up there now. Got some assembly lube on the threads. Hopefully you can see right there, we're right up. So now, when I thread that in there, that's going to compress against the hose there. I can feel it already starting to twist. So I'm gonna put a wrench on there. So underneath, I know I'm going to have to make some sort of bend because in the relationship from the fuel rail to where it's got to go up. So I'm going to mark it right there, tape it off. So I marked my hose right here, take a hacksaw, cut through it. You want to clean any debris out of the hose as well. <sighs> Blow some compressed air through it or something afterwards. Take your little piece here. Try to get all the all the little hairs in there. Take my socket. The fitting just spins on there, so when you bottom out, it'll still spin, but it's on there. Lubricate it up. This is actually really easy if you just put it in a vise. So this is where I went down the rabbit hole and interpreted the instructions differently. So these ones have a ferro. So what you got to do is you got to take that nut and slide it down on the hose first. And the instructions say to clear off a half inch. And I originally read it that you got to take a half inch of the braid line and the black. But you don't. You just got to clear off a half inch of the black. But leave the braided line there. And I'm going to show you why. 
So it came with that tool. One could only assume to keep the, the inner from collapsing. If I want to separate that. So that's how it should look. I cut the black away a little bit. Use the tool with the ferro and push down on it. Push that piece in and then your other piece that you put on should just thread up. You might have to trim it, but it looks like mine's going to go. It's easier to do this in a vise. I don't have soft jaws, but I could use two wrenches too. It's not a big deal to me. Get the return line fitted up. Might as well run the pressure line down too and connect it. Now tap into the fuel system underneath the return. I picked up the 6A in to a barb, which is gonna go into my return line. There's my fuel return right there. It's gonna put that nipple in. Should work. So now you guys can see around the bar with the 6AN fitting, 6AN to 5 sixteenths hose. I wish uh, I would have known if this was a nylon hose in the first place I went to bought it. I wish I would have uh, got something that was rubber instead, but it is what it is. And then follow it along. And then once I get to this part of the frame, I just started using the clips. Ran it up and I also rerouted the pressure line as well. So originally I ran the pressure line coming down to the tunnel, but I rerouted it to come up by the steering instead. It's a more natural fit there. And then the return just fits up to the tunnel. And hopefully that should work. So there you have it. At the end of the day, I don't know if going this fancy hose was entirely worth it. I mean, the 5 16 return line, I probably could have just used fuel line and uh, a couple of those barb fittings. I could have got away with that. Could have saved myself quite a bit of money. However, with the pressure line, it's a little bit different because uh, it's 3 8 going into the motor and your fuel line coming off the back is 5 16 so little bit of dilemma there but i hope you guys enjoyed the video of doing the fuel system what i did the, how i ran the lines um if you guys been down this road before i'm curious to know how you guys did your fuel lines anyways i'll talk to you guys in the next video see ya